Frick here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel and Happy New Year. Now because you're a long time subscriber and you hung here with me waiting for my next video even though I was off the air for a little bit, I have a special public service announcement for you that you will not get from anybody else. When you're online filling out that form or on a piece of paper filling out that form, don't forget to put 2018 on there, not 2017, because I know you've done it before where you put like last year and you're in the new year because it's new year, right? So public service announcement, don't forget, be mindful, double check what you're putting in for that little year box for the next month. You're going to have to think about it a little bit. Okay, like I said, I've been off the air a little bit. Uh, I don't want to go into the, the gory details of everything, but you know how to just deal with some things that life will occasionally throw at you and some people will deal with things better than others and these are some of the things were things that I don't deal with too well being an OCD kind of person and I like everything to be exactly right in a certain way and when it gets disrupted <laughs> it really disrupts me so uh, how to deal with it but it's all cool and it's getting dealt with Anyway, uh, also my last video was about LASIK. As you can see, you can see my eyes. And it's really cool that, you know, when outside, you know, just dealing with things at a distance, I don't need glasses anymore. Now, because I'm old, my eyeballs can't focus very well inwards. This is common. Uh, so I still need readers. And right now it looks like I'm going to have to use uh, 1.5 plus readers. So... I was in Walmart just going through the, the rack and everything, and I found some really cool ones called M Readers that have a blue filter in it. I don't know if you could notice that there's like a little bit of a purplish color there, but actually when you put these on, it sort of makes the really harsh white color that you get from a screen and sort of tones it down a little bit, gets rid of the little blue, so you get a very, very slight yellow. Like, you see how this, this light is yellow here? Now, it doesn't quite get... <laughs> when I put the glasses on it, it becomes this yellow, but, you know, it tones things down, so it's less harsh on the eye. For people like me, who are in front of a computer for a very uh, long amount of time, every day, it really does help relax your eyes. Now, I would normally put a link to make your life easy, like click the link, check these glasses out. However, these particular ones made by M Reader that uh, I got from Walmart seem to be sold out online and I can't even find them on Amazon so I don't know what the deal is but they had them in the store not too many maybe they're getting discontinued it's kind of too bad because they're really good glasses and they were made in the USA which I thought was really cool but they call M as the letter 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 M space readers and then they have all these different kinds and these are the ones that had the blue filter or blue blocker or something like that Really cool, very well made, made in the U.S. So you couldn't ask for any more. I like how they got the stems that spray out. So now I got to start dealing with readers again, but at least, <laughs> and it's really cool that I can, you know, I I remember when I was young, you know, I, I would always do the the face pl head plant <laughs> face plant in your hand, whatever they call it, and then when you get glasses, you you got to be mindful of your smudgy glasses, and now. I could do it. I don't want to really rub my eyes too much yet. You know, it still takes time to heal. Even though after a week, you're supposed to sort of be okay. I just want to make sure. So, but it's kind of nice to be able to touch one's face. And, and one other thing before we move on to the, the main reason why I'm doing this video is that uh, your eyes will still take, uh, or your eyes will adjust a little bit, is what I'm trying to say. E when, when you first have LASIK, and you, you walk out, everything is sort of really sharp, and you could see close in. I was able to actually read uh, with this eye at arm's length pretty good, but now <laughs> I need to read it. So the doctor said, yes, this is what's going to happen. You're not going to be able to continue reading at this, because as things heal, everything is just sort of smoothing out and everything. So um, I can read my notes on a screen that's about 20, 25 feet with... Or, or 10 feet with this eye this eye eh, it's pretty blurry I could make out the words but it's blurry this one if I blink and let it set for a minute everything is sharp I can read little 12 point font on a, on a screen about 10 feet away so when I'm walking around the store and stuff like that at, at 
you know, at a good distance, I can see what's on the shelves without putting readers on it. But once, you know, I really got to do something or read a menu or something, I really do. I mean, I could struggle to make things out. But that's sort of where I'm at. But everything is stabilized. So it's pretty cool. So now, the main reason why I'm doing this video, now it's like five minutes in, is to celebrate 2018. I wanted to go over the best of the things that I reviewed last year, 2017. So I broke this down into six categories. And let me read to you without my glasses what they are I wanted to review uh, out of all things I reviewed I wanted to give you the best knife the best flashlight the best charger the best toy the best camera and the best budget smartwatch that I reviewed last year and what are they I show you right now starting out with the best knife I want to say that this is also the best item out of everything that I reviewed last year this, out of even all the categories, is number one. And out of all the knives I reviewed, this is number one. This is my favorite thing that I bought and reviewed last year. This is the Ruger, I'm sorry, this is the CRKT Hollow Point Plus, but you can see it does have that Ruger symbol on it. It's sort of made for Ruger. This is a crazy good knife for a crazy good price of like 30 bucks now everything that I'm showing you here in this uh, 2017 in review cut a video I provided a link to my original reviews in the description box below so if you want all the details and everything uh, still can be had on Amazon for 30 bucks ball bearing system really nice check out the review I carry this more than any other knife since I reviewed this uh, exclusively has been in my pocket. Uh, this is just my go-to knife, daily, everyday carry. Love it. Next is flashlight. My favorite flashlight of last year is this Nikkor SRT9. 120 bucks is kind of pricey. You get it on gear best for $120. It is a little bit pricey, but um, what I love about this is the operating system. You know, you have an infinite amount of settings right there, and then you could get to all your different modes, even red and green and you know, black light or purple or IR or whatever you want to call it. I mean, just you could get to every single mode so simply. It is just awesome. You know, I never have met an easier flashlight to operate. It uses two 18650 batteries. It is absolutely amazing. It's it's a medium sized flashlight, built like a tank, super easy to use, and that's why I love it. Because there's no okay, do I got double click? Do I gotta click and hold? Do I got no none of that. You just got a ring and you just dial through. It it makes this flashlight the, the greatest of 2017 for me. Now you're in the flashlight so you're into vaping, which I still vape. I just haven't been doing many vaping videos lately because um, it just seems a little boring to me. Uh, you're going to need a charger. And I got to tell you, this is my absolute favorite charger of last year. It's my favorite charger of all of the ones that I reviewed. It is the Nikkor SC4 Superb Charger. This thing can do everything. It's so easy to use. It's handle everything I throw it at it. Again, links are below in the description box where you go ahead and get my full reviews on it but um if you're gonna get a charger this is it uh it runs 52 dollars is what i saw on gear best just now i don't know if any of the codes that i had still work you give them a shot if they do good on you man you get it a little bit cheaper but i love this love it love it love it best toy i'll tell you this was a hard decision because I was ready to show you a quadcopter. Uh, really, really awesome quadcopter. But sitting back and thinking about it, the one toy that I kept on just playing with and playing with even after the, you know, the review just really thought it was just too cool for school is the WL Toys four-wheel drive off-road vehicle. I, I never thought I would like a... A road vehicle over a quadcopter but um this guy is just so smooth so fast so awesome um i put a gopro mount on here and in the video when i did the review and again those are all in the description box below i i have video of this guy <laughs> with a camera right on top in that video it's just too cool this thing is just 
It's built very, very well, by the way. I've, I've put this through a, a lot, and it only costs for what it is, 60 bucks. It is amazing. That's a gear best. They still sell them. They have variants of them also where they have um, six wheels total also as well as this four wheel model. By the way, this is all wheel drive. You can see the shaft here and uh, shaft here and you can see this metal plate there. It takes a lot of use. Uh, let me show you the controller before we move on to the next item. Here's the controller. Probably the cheapest part of it. You know, just plastic. Nothing to write home about, but this right here. <laughs> just keep on doing this because it's so springy. Loved it. Lots of fun. Now for best camera, believe it or not, um, one of the categories of cameras that I review are 360 degree cameras. And there's one, I'm not going to show it because I tend, things that I don't like, I tend not to show you instead of, um, you know, doing negative reviews. I just won't recommend it if it's bad. I won't do the video, I'll give the company an option to say, hey, if I go ahead and do this because you sent it to me, it's not going to be a good video but I'll be happy to do it since I promise to do a video but I'm not and never would promise to to say that something is good when it's not so there was a 360 camera I reviewed that I did not like so I never showed you and then there was one that I did show you last year and even out of all the other cameras I love this camera and this is the older, the first generation Samsung 360 camera because I know now they have a newer one out. But what's kind of cool, going back and, and clicking on Amazon and looking for a link for this, these uh, first generation guys are selling for 70 bucks. And the build quality, I mean these things used to cost hundreds of dollars, I think almost 300 at some point. And now they're selling for $70. So, you know, go to the link, the review in the review and look what it's selling for on Amazon I saw for seventy dollars and it is still an amazing amazing camera but um I think you have to have a to get the full feature set out of this you have to have a Samsung camera but I think it will work with other makers just read read up on it uh, I don't want to tell you for sure if it will or not but this is an absolutely amazing camera now I do have another Possibly another 360 camera coming up this year to review. It's been sent to me over a month ago because of things that happened. I haven't got to it yet, but I'll give you a little preview here. Things to come. This is the SJ Cam 360. You can see it's sort of a different shape and format. It has two cameras. Kind of cool. Even came with this guy. We're going to be reviewing this pretty soon. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's coming up. So there, you got to... A little bit of a preview of something that's coming up but Samsung 360 last year original first generation best camera of 2017 here at the Gear Obsession channel for the next category a watch and out of all the watches I reviewed because I've reviewed mechanical and smart watches it's this guy right here because when I consider the feature set the cost build quality I think this is the most bang for the buck it is absolutely amazing now it didn't come with this strap. I just changed it to this strap because it uses the standard 22 millimeter straps. Be nice to get the quick release ones so it makes your life easy. So depending on what I'm wearing I might change it but this one came with the orange straps which I don't use too much. Instead uh, I put other like leather straps or whatever. But this is an amazing <laughs> watch. The Amazfit Pace smart watch. Right now selling for 127 on gear best. It, you got to check out the review and since that review it's already had two updates so it's not like your typical off Chinese brand items where you buy it and then they never do a firmware update or anything like that because Amazfit is a company um, by Xiaomi which is a very big Chinese company very big uh, there's it's sort of like their um, Samsung you know lack of a better term not exactly but you know what I'm talking about so they continue to do firmware updates and stuff as a matter of fact they did a firmware today um, works with a lot of software whoops <laughs> there we go uh, this is the application and it this thing has GPS built in it and now the, remember $127 this thing has GPS and heart rate monitor built in for day battery life is what I usually get out of this thing uh, this ceramic 
bezel around this thing. I, I've banged this against metal and not a scratch. Not a scratch on the display either. Amazing. Uh, trans reflective screen that's how it gets this crazy backlight you see if I block the light you can't see it however it does have a backlight that you can have automatically come on which I turned off when you hit the button um, the only downside to this is it the or the one thing I really uh, don't like is the way you charge it. it has to go into this guy and it just sort of clamps in these contacts so if there is a downside that's really it you just gotta charge it like that it's not fancy like the magnetic chargers where you just put it in and it uh, does the wireless magnetic charging but for the price you cannot beat this watch and I wear this a lot a lot <laughs> out of, you know out of all the um, off-brand and, and Chinese brand watches this is really the one that beats them all and it beats a lot of the US. It beat the Pebble which went out of business. It beat um, a lot of the, the cheap watches. The only thing, the only watch I like more than this but I didn't review it last year is, where is it? Uh, I'll show it to you. I'll let you know. But this this is the winner by the way. I'm going to go a little off topic here. If you want to spend a lot of money on a smart watch or a mechanical watch, let me show you what my favorite watches of this year are that I've never reviewed um, and if you want a review I can I can give you a review of one of these guys let me uh, bring this one here this is the Samsung Gear S classic and again this also takes 22 millimeter straps so again same set of straps I could put on whoops sorry on this guy I could sort of put on here I, everything's interchangeable I try to stay with that um, this Samsung, they got the classic and then they have like the Voyager version which is like black and sporty but I like the classic one. This thing also, heart rate, GPS, all that stuff. But battery life beats the Android watches hands down. Android watches that I've had, I'm lucky to get a day out of them. This thing goes two and a half days out of charge. Absolutely amazing. Also, it's still, even after half a year, look, at, it's just so fast, so smooth. Usually with the Android watches, they bogged out, especially after a bunch of updates. This guy has never slowed down. It is, look how fast that is. And battery life just kicks the Android watches' asses. I love it. So if you want to spend a lot of money on a um, smartwatch, this is it. This is an absolutely amazing watch. Uh, let me show you my favorite screen here. I'm going to be a little funny here because you could change your watch faces. I found a watch face that I actually bought. It might have been free. I can't remember. Check this out. Whoops. If you subscribe to my Facebook page, you probably saw that I had posted this one day. Check this out. This is Unicorn's Farting Rainbows. <laughs> There's heart rate. Oops time there we go absolutely look how clear look how nice I love this watch so I wear between the Amaze Fit and this watch the only other watch that I'll, I'll wear on any kind of continuous basis is the one I have on my arm right now if I want to go with a more conventional mechanical watch this guy right here my wife got me this for my birthday they should past year in 2017 this citizen watch this is one of them eco drive ones um, amazing <laughs> this thing's amazing it it charges um, with the Sun and this one is it doesn't have the chronograph whatever you call it you know how I am with pronouncing things instead this is the world time one of the world time ones that they have so I can easily change between time zones to see what time it is in other places and what's cool is it also um, synchronizes time from the radio signals sent by Boulder Colorado time over the radio so every day it'll, it'll sort of set itself exactly so it'll be accurate within a little piece of a second and uh, you don't have to worry about changing the batteries because it's getting charged by the sun. You don't have to worry about winding it up. And it just looks very nice. If you notice, a lot of people wear these kind of watches these days. The black with the silver kind of band just like this. 
you know, when you look on TV and you look at the pundits on uh, news stations or actors or whatever, they all seem to wear sort of watches that look like this. So, when I just want to go classic, mechanical, I go to this guy. Uh, I don't know the exact model offhand because I didn't officially do a review, so I didn't do all that stuff, but it's, you know, it's a Citizen World type Eco Drive. They have so many different variants where these internal smaller hands will be in different places it'll do different things you know check them out they're not cheap <laughs> not cheap at all i've got this uh i'll give you a couple of my shopping secrets where i go brick and mortar stores to find some freaking crazy deals um, if i'm looking for shoes or clothes or things like that i'll go to ross Okay, you're going to find things at Ross because at Ross it's items that are discontinued or last year's uh, fashion or maybe they're slightly irregulars or closeouts or things like that. It, that's what you'll find at Ross. Now, Ross is the same company as Marshall's and uh, there's, I, I think it's Marshall's. Yeah, it's the same company as Marshall's. So at Marshall's, I found this guy right here so and crazy price like half of what it should cost <laughs> so and it, it's probably because this particular model was discontinued which is why I'm not gonna waste your time giving you a model and a link or something like that but I don't care I don't care that it's discontinued it just looks cool so what else do I have coming up for the next couple of months well I already showed you the 360 camera here by SJ cam so if everything goes well um, I'm going to do a review of that. Uh, let's see, Gearbest sent me this guy right here. It's another Amaze Fit, but this one is sort of a light version of the Pace. It's called the Bip, Blip, Bip, for something like that. But it's like uh, a lot off. I think this is like $70, where this is selling for almost $120 or $30 or something. So this is like their cheap. Oops. <laughs> dropping stuff. One of their cheapest uh, smart watches by the same company, Amazfit. So if it's anything like the Pace, I keep on showing you the wrong watch here. <laughs> if it's anything like the Pace, it, it's going to be well worth the money. So if you're looking for an expensive smart watch, something to give the kid or something like that, that might be a good option. We'll find out. you got to stay tuned. Uh... Okay, something that I know Gearbest is really pissed off at me because I haven't reviewed it yet is this guy right here. This is a quadcopter, but right now it's like 20 degrees outside, so I, uh, <laughs> I'm not going out there. And then before that, my LASIK, so I haven't been able to get out and do a review. I've only got the unboxing portion of the video done on this quadcopter, but I can tell you right now that the build quality of this thing is freaking crazy. It's a Husband. Uh, let's see, what's the model here? The X4, is it? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the... Uh, I got my light right here. Uh, let's see, it's this guy right here. I'm going to be reviewing. And it is the black version of the X4 FPV. So it has a camera built into it. Uh, but the build quality, I'm just telling you that this thing just feels so solid. There's the camera built right in it. So it, the camera can't move up or down or anything like that. So it has like a, a little bit of an angle you can see to it. But that's what it is. So you can't sort of change the angle. It has a nice controller with a screed on it. And uh, the motors are brushless. You can hear, listen. I don't know if you can hear that, but very smooth very compact very solid i have very high expectations and it has some nice lights built in to these legs i really think this is going to be a good review so as soon as the weather is adequate and it's not windy because that's the other thing it was windy then it was freezing cold then i had my eye surgery and then i had all this other stuff go on so i haven't been around too much they sent me this over two months ago and I always promise to get these reviews out in a month, so I feel bad that I haven't got to this yet. So I just want to show you the preview of this. And if you don't want to wait and just want to go for it, 
you know, and look at other people's videos and check it out and then go to Gear Best because you'll find a good deal on these. That's why I picked it uh, to review. But, um, wow, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I really apologize. I haven't gotten the review out yet on it. All right, it's not going to yak, so if you really don't want to stay in, I don't have much more to really offer. But if you just want to stay in and talk for a little bit, uh, I just want to reassure you I'm still here and still making videos. I still vape, so uh, sometime in the future I may do another review. But the thing is that um, as far as new technology and, and innovation in the vaping world, I just haven't seen anything that sparked my interest to do a video. Um, as far as what I'm vaping now, um, still going with the Cool Fire 4. See, I gotta put my glasses on for things that are this close. I'm still using, yeah, the Cool <laughs> Cool Fire 4 Plus because it's the right size. It fits my hand really nice. I don't need any super high power. And this is a Halo tank that I've been going back to continuously. I'll show you. That looks like I did a review on that guy a long time ago, right there. It never leaks, and you know has this. This is what I've concluded with tanks. Get tanks if you can get ones that have the the vape, the amount of vapor and the taste, and then you're trying to decide compare one against the other. I like the top airflow because whenever I get ones with bottom airflow, eventually if you let them sit long enough they sort of leak underneath it so it sort of gets a little aggravating so I always like to get ones with the airflow in the top this way they tend not to leak as long as you don't turn it upside down um, I am not vaping nicotine if you're wondering this is nicotine free what am I uh, my go-to vape here of 2017 is experiment one by uh, Telios Zero Nick, just in case you're interested. Love this stuff, sort of a, a corny flavor. <laughs> but, uh, man, it's good. So, like cream corn? I don't know. But it's good stuff. Been vaping this tank on this device for months. And it just keeps on going. I, th this is my continuous go-to favorite setup right now. It's nothing s super special, but it, it does what I want it to do. And why do I vape if it's no nicotine? Well, it's still relaxing for me. It also keeps me from snacking because my New Year's resolution is probably the same as 90% of all of you out there. And that is that uh, I want to lose weight and get healthier. So... Uh, to get a head start, I shaved off a lot of my beard so I could lose maybe a, an eighth of an ounce to just get things started. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just trying to do look new, trying to do everything new. New year, new, 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 new shirt. Right there. <laughs> I'm not adulting today. Um, I gotta start adulting tomorrow, dealing with stuff and going back to work. Um, I got a lot of stuff to deal with tomorrow. I really don't want to get into it now. Maybe, maybe in the future I'll tell you what's going on, but I don't want to do it right now. Uh, one more thing. But you're wondering what this is. This is a clock. Um, kind of cool. It has a light ring here. It you could set an alarm for a certain time, but the alarm won't come on right away. The first thing that'll happen is that this will light up like the sun is rising, and then. Over 20 minutes, it will get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. It's sort of simulating a sunrise. And like Philips is a company that makes one of these, but they cost like a hundred something bucks. Uh, this guy was a cheap one that I found for 30 bucks. They sell a lot of these things on Amazon. Uh, I'm probably not going to review it or recommend it because one of the things I don't like about it is that the alarm doesn't ramp up. It's just loud. I mean, he has like 50 different alarms that you could choose from, but you know, after the 20 minutes of sunrise, the the alarms are super loud. And then another thing that I didn't consider <laughs> when purchasing this was that this LED right here that you're seeing, which doesn't look bright now, but when all the lights are out, this is too bright right here. 
it's too bright the numbers it lights up the room and there's no way to tone that down so that was an issue and then of course um i i you know sleep in a bed with my wife and she um might not appreciate this light coming on in the morning i don't know so it's going to end up in here for now it's good for me to get like uh the color of sun just to keep your body in sync with day and night because I don't spend a lot of time outside especially during the week when it's light out cooped up in a lab you know inside doing computer stuff because I'm a computer, computer geek so it's good to get that temperature of light in your face keeps your body clock in sync because if you don't things your other you know it can lead to problems I guess do you know look like the Apollo missions or the space missions they have these sun lamps and if they want the astronauts to work in a different time zone kind of thing, like a, they want to have them wake up and go to sleep at certain times, they'll make them, they'll do like a light therapy where they'll be in front of a light and slowly work their body to a different time zone. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of cool. So you could suddenly use this. It's a cheap one. It's like $27 or something like that. You can find them on Amazon. And, uh, you know, just good to keep your body clock in check um, and just so you know I really do use a lot of products that I review uh, here's another example I still have my Geiger counter <laughs> right here going uh, I do live within uh, driving distance short driving distance of a reactor so I don't trust somebody to tell me that hey they got a problem but it's leaking radiation I want something that's going to tell me. I mean, it's not, this is not a field Geiger counter, which, you know, which are not that sensitive, by the way. This one is more sensitive, and it sort of just lets you um, constantly see what's going on. I have, like, an alarm set, so it goes over a certain amount of uh, hits per minute, you know, the ticks per minute. It'll let you know. And then if there are issues, if there are issues, I got those pills that you can take. Uh, potassium iodide, which are are good to have. What it does is it, it keeps your body from absorbing the bad uh, iodine, the radioactive stuff. Uh, another thing, let me know if you stay with me this long. Okay, I guess you like my channel. And one of the big purchases, one of the big presents this year that my wife and I had given each other are new phones. Um, for over two years we had the Samsung S6 right there and now we've upgraded to the Samsung S8 Plus so you can see the difference in size of course I got a case I, I always wrap these things up I already dropped it once I'm glad I had a case on it uh, UAG I also like these Tech 21 cases that I have on my old phone I still use the old phone um, you can still use it via Wi-Fi um, but you can see the size difference now, I could have went with the Note could have went with the Note, which is even bigger, or I could have went with the, just the S8 and not the S8 Plus, but this was like the size in the middle, the size in the middle, and I didn't want to get much bigger because I want to be able to put this in the same holder in my car, because I don't do this while I'm driving, like I know some of you do, and I always, I, I tell you, it drives me crazy driving on the road and people are on your side of the freaking yellow line because they're effing around with their phones or they're drifting out of their lanes or they're sitting at green lights because they haven't put their head up where it should be <laughs> it's just I'll tell you I do not believe in the government getting into our business but I think the government the federal government they need to have like a law a blanket law of reciprocity all 50 states you shouldn't be able to do too much on these things while you're driving. I'm sorry. There needs to be some sort of driving mode. Um, and then these things shouldn't be able to operate unless it's by voice or by some sort of system in the car. But you should not be able to text with your fingers like this while driving. I am sorry. Uh, I'm a libertarian. I don't like it when the government gets in our business and dictate, dictates what you do. But I tell you that every single day... When I'm out there, somebody's trying to take me out because they're effing with their phones. So, it's gotten out of hand. 
that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I, I did a, a survey on you guys. I don't know. I tried one of these YouTube surveys for my fifth question that I was asking. It was whether I should get political or not. And you all didn't want me to get political. The, the percentage was don't get political compared to get political. I'll tell you, I would love to get political on certain things. Just like I did now, the little kind of thing here. But it seems like you guys don't want to, you want to get away from it. And that's why you're watching my channel. And I get that. The majority, and I want to keep the majority of you happy. So the majority rules in a lot of cases. So it, it does in this case. <laughs> so there we go. All right, this video is really long. It's going to take me like three hours to, to get it and uploaded. But I want to get it done today and up today so you all can enjoy it today on the first day of 2018. And again, public service announcement. Don't forget, type it in or writing in the year on that form. 2018. Mentally check twice, three times. Get a little OCD on that just for the first month or two until it is automatic muscle memory in your brain kind of thing all right thank you very much for joining me here at the ear obsession channel i really do really do appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and i hope you have a great day or evening take care bye